welcome everyone to a special edition of Circuit Center. And this is not only just an episode of Circuit Center, which, you know, if you're racing it, we're covering it. Um, but one of the main features that has become a staple of the competitive scene in Circuit Superstars is the CSUP.app. Um, and we have our special guest today, Dremit, as well as our Circuit Center host, One, with us. And we are going to be launching, this will be the launch of a brand new feature in the app. Uh, and we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, welcome Drummit and Dewan. Nice Hello. to be here. Thank you for having me. So Always. we, uh, we um, Drummit has been a mainstay in, in uh, the CSUP community as well as Dewan. You, when did you guys actually get the game? When did you start playing? I must, I think in, in summer 2021, and I really and I started competitive um, playing in December 2021. Um, so it's been over a year for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, for me, I got it early November of 21 and started uh, competitively driving in January of 22. And then once you know, it used to be with with um, especially with ICSTC because that was sort of the only official league at the time um, uh, before the before one of the features of the game came into play, we had uh, the developers actually arrange for, for the lobby to uh, to have this league. Um, but once we uh, had the um, custom lobby feature introduced, that kind of was the catalyst for, you know, the whole competitive scene exploding. Um, ICSGC obviously got real easy <laughs> to host lobbies and, and, and run our competitions, but uh, a number of leagues and events uh, uh, popped up then um, and now there's just so many. Um, so, so Dremit, was that the inspiration for creating an app for the competitive scene? Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, it, 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 it started with um, more and more Discord servers popping up and uh, you just needed to, to look through all of them um, to know what's going on. And there was not one central hub where you were able to go and look what's what's going on in the community and um so yeah that that was definitely one main reason to to create that um app with all the information about all championships or and events yeah i know people use the app for for different things in different ways um so to one as a player what do you use mm -hmm. the app most well for starters i like i like to look at uh wikis the wiki section there I'll go through uh, tracks just to remind myself of like what corners are labeled what. Um, for instance, like as you see on the screen, um, Buffalo Hill Rallycross, you just see what like turn four and five, or uh, just just looking at the track overall too kind of figure out a line with your eyes as well that you can maybe test out in the future. Um, that's always fun to look at. Then I'll look at um, another section in Wiki, the fuel and tire. <clears throat> I will go here and then if I have a competitive race coming up, uh, like this next race that we have is going to be Magdalena GP. Um, if we look at that and it's going to be loose cannon with 75% fuel. So you can see like how much fuel is going to be burnt per lap and how many laps you can roughly get out of a full tank. You know, that's given a little bit of leeway because of like your general pace and driving style, of course, but, uh, that's always good to keep an eye on. And then another thing that I look at is, uh, the race calculator or race setting calculator excuse me um i'll mess around with some settings in there just to see like maybe future races i want to hold for an event or if i want to start a league someday or something like that just to play around a bit and then the last thing i'll look at is the race calendar um i look at the race calendar because i enjoy watching csup as much as i like playing it so i'll look at all the upcoming races that even I'm not participating in. So uh, I'll watch German League all the time. Um, other ICSCC races that I'm not in. So those are like the main features that I'll pay attention to. 
just the, the screen that Dremit has up right now. <clears throat> now this is uh, Dremit's profile, uh, but all future races is something that everybody can see um, on theirs. And it's, it's, you can really see just how many leagues and events are happening. Like the CSEP competitive uh, community is, is, is crazy busy. It's, it's awesome to see all of these events and leagues uh, happening, which is really exciting to me. Yeah, also big no, shout out big shout out to all organizers that uh, were up for uh, using the app. In the beginning it was obviously like uh, it was new and they were like okay what what is it? Like what what does it do? Like will other organizers also use it? So it was a lot of uh, communication uh, in the beginning, but big shout out big shout out to to all the other organizers that use the app. Um, and uh, I have to admit, I was uh, just in, in preparation for the for the episode and, and going through everything. I was today years old when I realized what was all in the wiki section. <laughs> <laughs> because as an organizer, I spend most of my CSEP app life in the Managed Championships portal. But if you could go to the track um, section for just a moment, uh, shout out to White Van Man who produced these images. Like, this is fantastic. Uh, for anyone, even if you're not in the competitive scene, to see all the tracks and all the turns um, for every layout of every track. This is uh, amazing stuff by White Band Man, so shout out to him for sure. Definitely. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a great feature to have. Yeah, this... They're, they're really pretty pictures too. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so I, I always uh, always want to, to point out, this is not this is not uh, so some 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 people say this is your app or whatever like it, it's it's uh, obviously i'm the main developer but it's not my app it's it's the community app right so it's it, white van man did those graphics and um recently star egg created this race settings calculator right and and uh, there's there's much more and people help with the fuel and fuel entire uh, things right and also with the feature we are going to talk uh, soon about, um, for example, so MPH helped to enter data, and it's 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 a community project. So just want to <laughs> big shout out to everyone who helped in the past. Well, I think early on when we talked about the app, Dremit, um, you were very very clear right from the right from the beginning that this would be community driven. Um, yeah. The app especially the content and the data and everything would would be entirely you know community driven and it looks like that's exactly what it is which is fantastic um now as an organizer i again i clearly don't use the wiki but now that i know what's in it <laughs> i'm definitely <laughs> gonna be a total nerd about it and, and and check it out um but as an organizer i live in the managed championships uh portal that's that's just where i live um and the one of the first things that i noticed um, that was just such a blessing was the registration process. Um, mm. So for, and I can only speak for ICSTC, it's the only one I'm, I'm an organizer of, but um, you know, in the past watching the registrations happening, you know, where, where teams and drivers would just post in various channels that they were registering. It was such chaos. There was so much, to, it was so hard to track. Um, but this app, you just, it's just a couple clicks of a button for a driver and a, a, or a team um to to register for a league or event and it's it's just so so easy to manage those registrations and and put teams or drivers in different groups um depending on on your league or event uh which is which is fantastic um the standings so in the past everything was done you know via manually and en manual entry into an excel spreadsheet or something along those lines um, I do nothing <laughs> for the standings. They are done for me. Um, so for anyone looking to organize a league or event in, in CSUP, definitely use the app because it will save you so, so, so much time and headaches and errors because the, the app does so much for you. Um, within ICSTC, because it is a global uh, competition, it's we've got three server regions happening with um, South America, North America, and Europe. Um, I'm constantly checking players' uh, server regions, so where the player is from. So I go into the drivers, look them up, and be like, oh, they're North American, they're Europe, they're uh, South American, because we have to figure out in a division um, what the hosting, uh, the server hosting uh, 
options are for that division for the best player experience. So I'm, I'm constantly checking that. And I, I always kind of, it, it's neat to, to find out where everyone's from, you know, and it's like, oh, I didn't know that that person was from, you know, uh, Finland <laughs> or, um, uh, I'm sure Dramit could probably speak to this, but uh, the influx of Italian players all of a sudden <laughs> <laughs> from our Italian community, there's uh, that 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 Italy list has definitely grown, which is fantastic. Um, so so I, I nerd out about that stuff. Now, as an organizer, I will I've saved the best for last um, because it is the most important one for me as an organizer is the race results entry. Um, so previously you were looking at screenshots and you were trying to figure out some stuff and, and you either had to spend an enormous amount of time or you had to uh, not include a lot of information in your race results. Um, but now that we have the app, um, I use the what is now considered the extended result entry. <laughs> um, so race results are available on the app within hours of the races being finished which is fantastic. And it's just so easy just to plug them in, double check them. There's very few errors um, that way. And uh, yeah, it's it's just, it's so handy to take the screenshots that the players post and input them into the app. But Dremit, you now have a simple entry and I'll let you speak to that because I have yet to use it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, first, thank you. Thank you for the, for the nice introduction of the app and all you said uh, really appreciate it i'm very happy that that you like it um so yeah th this whole organizer section um, some people might not see it that's because you don't have the organizer role on the app in case you want to organize um, championships or events just uh, send a dm to me dramat uh, on discord and um, i can um, give you the organizer role so that you also see it um, <clears throat> so yeah, so in the past it was always uh, it took a bit of time to enter the uh, the the race settings. So either you had to like manually put uh, put all the the times in here, which is obviously it can take a lot. Um, so that was at the very beginning. I then created the these this app upload feature where you could make screenshots of um, the times and then there's a, uh, a cool Google AI tool that reads oops <laughs> that's that reads the, the the numbers from the screenshot and um, puts them into the, the this form already for you so you save a bit of time but still it's it's some effort right and um, that's why um, recently I added this simple result entry where you simply select the driver, put the quality position, put the race position, and make a check mark if that driver got the fastest step. Because that's all that, that is needed for calculating how many points a driver gets in a certain race. So that's the bare minimum. Um, and as an organizer, you can choose which one you want to use, whether you want to give a bit more detail, putting that qualifying uh, lab for example so not just um, putting like who, who got pole but also with which time right um, because um, that will also be saved and um, used uh, at, at certain places but um, yeah just just to let you know that this this easier entry yeah well and one thing that the extended result entry does with that information that I noticed recently <clears throat> when I looked um, when I looked at the first, before we ran the first race in ICSTC for season six, um, and I looked at the race settings, it showed what the track record was um, in that time. So yeah, there's Nico Minardi. Uh, so you'll probably see Nico's name a lot, but um, I could see like the time to aspire to, <laughs> to get an idea of just how slow I am <laughs> um, <laughs> or how fast I am. Um, but, but the information that we, input in in something like the extended result helps out that data right um kind of determining the, the fastest uh, kind of the record time for that track um yep based on the information that's on the app yeah that's true if you if you want more details like like in this example where you have all the times of the races the best lap times the quality times and feeding this this database 
that can always show the fastest time with this track car combination and shows which driver did do this quality time at which uh, date. If you want to feed that database, go ahead and use the extended one. But I also might enhance the simple data entry in the future so that um, you can maybe have like a small box here where, where you can optionally also put the best quality time. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's for the future. <laughs> well, and, and circuits that are like Dewan and Waffle and, and Dewan, you can you can speak to that. But the the race results um, screen mm -hmm. that does have the times, uh, if you get that one there, uh, so so we can see where the fights were on track, you know, towards exactly. the end of the race based on the gaps, um, based on the, the the race time, the total race time, and and Dewan, you guys uh, tend to talk about that quite a bit. Yeah. Uh not only just the race times but also for like their qualifying position and how many spots they gained or lost too we can kind of see where battles or mishaps may have happened um like for instance Worrell losing four positions in this race we would try to pay attention to like if he made a huge mistake if it was just a simple ccd or what happened there and bill bot minority climbing positions uh would see like how they did their over etc yeah depending on if if you are in the up position or down position you might like or not like that feature <laughs> or <you tend laughs> to not like that feature <laughs> it's like oh crimson lost six positions well that's you know nothing new <laughs> I, I i'm neutral um, on this one yeah you're neutral <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you're consistent <laughs> Um, so Dremit, Dewan and I talked about our favorite features as both a player and an organizer. You are both a player and, or and an organizer and also the app creator. So what what are your favorite fe features? Like what do you completely nerd out on with the app? Yeah, I mean, most of most of my favorite features you, you al already uh, mentioned as well. Um, but like I, I really like the, the, the standings um, that were also recently added. So maybe we, we can go to the to the last season to see a bit more data. So I can go to ICSTC, go to season five here, go to Superstars, for example. And for example, here you can see like Nico Minardi did 10 races, one seven, eight podiums, six poles, one fast lap, average position, average positions gained. So I really, I'm, I'm a data guy, right? So I, I love these numbers, right? And I obviously standings and um, statistics on the driver profile, of course. So this is not just the one league, this is all leagues, right? So you can really dig into the data, look if a person is more like doing good at qualifying and then loses positions in the race or like Minardi, it seems um, generally on average gains half a position in the race yeah so um that's that's one thing i really love also obviously the race calendar right so like it was mentioned right this might look different for you if you are uh, not uh, in the in the eu or like this is a different format for you um but so that's, um, that's that player's time zone right whatever exactly player is looking at the app all the races are in their time zone, which is also a time saver as an organizer, because before we used to have to do that special discord formula to to do the, the, the local or, or relevant time zone for anyone looking at that post. Uh, but the app does that for you, uh, which is fantastic. Um, on the on the page previous when you I think it was uh, Nico's um, profile, that was you're looking at a visual of, of one of the newer features, which is these these medals, these little icon achievements here. Uh, can you talk about that briefly, Dremit? Yeah, I mean, I was um, a couple of organizers, or I was talking with one or two organizers who were like, um, is there any po uh, possibility to put some like medals or what about achievements? And and I talked to some of them and they were all like, yeah, that's, that's a cool idea. Let's do that. And um, I think it's a pretty nice uh, add-on to, to have something on your profile and uh, not just numbers, but also some visuals. And um, you can also click on them and then you get to the championship, championship by the way. Um, and um, yeah, uh, it's, it's just, obviously it's only a visual thing, 
but it's I think it's a pretty nice uh, history and, and you can collect those achievements over time <laughs> it's all these little details that you put in the app that really uh, that really really enhance it so let's get to why we're here today uh, because we've talked about like so many of the fantastic features but you are always working to improve the app and always working to offer the latest and greatest uh, based on player needs organizer needs or just something that's nerdy and cool and I I, I would I would file this new feature under something that's nerdy and cool. That's just me. Um, but uh, but it's the ELO <laughs> ranking that um, the ICSTC used to have. We kind of have this ranking system now in CSUP uh, with the online lobbies, the time trials, um, the uh, championship mode. Um, so what what is what is an ELO rank? Grab it. You gotta yeah. explain this to me. So 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 one 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 one. Uh, short introduction to that. So this is not live yet. So we present it in this 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 podcast, and it, it will be released very soon. And I will uh, make an uh, announcement on the Seeds of App Discord uh, as soon as it is released. Um, but so what what is the Elo ranking? So um, I so j you don't have to memorize everything I say. There's there's a new there will be a new wiki sect called Elo, just um, to to that summarizes everything important about elo but in general it's it's a rating system used in chess right and in other competitive game, games to to rank players based on their skill level right so it's just to get a quick overview who are the best 10 drivers for example or who did improve within the last months right or uh, maybe you are an organizer and maybe you want to like do, do group people into into different skill groups whatever like there are a, a couple of um, uh, applications but we will um, also dig more into that later but in general it's a it's a skill or it's a rating system for players skill yeah so we will be fi we'll find that in where do, where, where, if I'm a player and I want to know my ELO rank or I want to see the rankings, where would we be finding that when uh, the feature's live? Yeah, so this will you will you will find it here under community. You will see the ELO list, and um, so just below the drivers, and everyone who drove at least one race since Aug since the release of the website that was uh, entered on the app will appear here. So where does, so the ELO data pulls its, all of it, all, sorry, the ELO pulls all of its data from race results? Exactly, so it's, okay. um, so there are two two main sources of, um, of, of the data. So some of you that are, that have been here for more than half a year, uh, especially in the competitive scene, know that Motor Topin did an ELO list um, before and he always made those uh, graphics and those overview graphics and the last update I, I, I found was from July 2022 so and that was right before the app was released so it was like maybe the perfect um, data to use as a starting point because throwing away this valuable data no way right so it's it, that I took that as a starting point and um, and uh, then from that moment on, every race entered on CSUP app uh, is considered for ELO rank changes. And how often is that data updated? Yeah, so um, I decided to not immediately update it after every entry. Why is that? Well, um, imagine organizers entering data maybe they have not yet finished entering all the data and then you can already go to the ELO list and then you might see uh, half updated uh, results or maybe you are just looking too often there which is maybe also not that healthy <laughs> to look after every race into into your uh, ELO so I uh, if you're like me and you're low on the list it's definitely not healthy <laughs> oh you're not so low but yeah it's it's um it's uh, it, it, I decided to, to, to um, uh, update it monthly. So in the beginning of every month, I will manually 
like well obviously it's semi automatic um update um the um the elo list so yeah roughly between the fifth and tenth of each month you can you can expect an update here that sounds awesome so what actually makes a player's elo go up or down so elo in multiplayer games so the it's it by the way if, if you if you're really interested into the details look at this paragraph right i won't i won't i i, I won't go I into i will never read that <laughs> but but so i i try to keep it simple but it generally it looks what is your ranking what is the ranking of the player players you did beat and what is the rank of players you did lose to right and if you if you win against players that have a high elo then you get a lot of elo if you lose against very good players then you don't lose that much elo of course so it it takes your elo the opponent's elos into consideration and um calculates a new or a, a, the the elo change based on a single race result and, um, what about number of races? Like, <clears throat> is it better the more you race? Is it better the less you race? <laughs> yeah. So in, in general, the the number is more precise the more you race, Big, and not just the more you race, but also the the more opponent you race opponents you race against, right? If you're always racing against the same opponents, it might not be as pre representative as if you participate in many leagues and drive against many different opponents and um yeah that's it basically so that's reflected in the validity column like how, how yeah often or so how many races yeah so the validity column you can use to see if a elo is solid or whether that driver only did a couple of races right so for example wizard evo only did 17 races that have been entered on this uh, on the app right so his elo might not yet be representative for his real skill level and also if you have less than 30 races every elo change from every race is doubled by the way so if um so that makes sure that if a for example a very good player joins the community and is immediately very good that player will um, gain elo points very quickly for the first 30 races that just makes sure that it doesn't take years <laughs> or like at least <laughs> months um, to get to a certain elo level um, and uh, yeah and and also there's this outdated column right so for example many no, of us no, know... is very outdated yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> So, so we know that we know that. Uh, so, we, Nomo was in this list, right? Which was mm -hmm. used used as the base. Um, so, this is what what is meant by before August two thousand twenty two. That's basically he was in this list, linked here, by the way. Um, then uh, it just says outdated. So, if if there's more than one hundred eighty days or half a year. Um, then uh, you, it's 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 flagged as outdated. Now, obviously, any sort of ranking system will never be perfect. Um, you know, nothing is ever perfect. So, what are the weaknesses of the ELO that that people should probably know? Yeah. So, besides the fact that some people just haven't done that many races, so of course that number might be less representative than. McVizen's number, who already did like 78 races, right? Um, it's it's also uh, important to note that if someone only drives against a certain set of drivers, so say someone is only driving in the German league, for example, and only uh, always having the same opponents, so up to let's say about 10 opponents every year and every every season and it's it's not uh, changing changing that much over time then it might also not be representative because i don't know let's say there there are only good opponents in that league so although you might be a moderate 
moderately skilled driver, if you lose to the high skilled drivers all the time, then you go lower, 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 right? So it's, it's important to know that it's relevant to drive against as many different opponents as possible to have a good ELO or a representative ELO number. And this, this ELO ranking is only ranking the players that are in the app that have data recorded, right? It's it's not reflective of the entire CSUP player base. Exactly, exactly. So <laughs> that's that's the only <clears throat> only thing we have here on the app. And um, so everyone that was on this list and that was registered <laughs> on the app um, made it to the database and then uh, uh, was entered here. So currently we have 141 um, drivers who uh, fall into that category but it will be more at the beginning of uh, february because icstc just started with uh, a couple of more new drivers so we will definitely yeah. see this number rising yeah we have four brand new teams <laughs> worth of drivers um and uh, we also have like the entire italian community that came in and uh shout out to them because i, I just adore those guys they're so great yeah um big so yeah it's, when we get these big groups of, of players um when the switch update comes in um hopefully that's soon but uh that will probably bring in a whole other player base as well so uh hopefully they all register on the app and they all participate in things that are that are uh, via the app and we can get them in, in these um, these rankings. Um, so what do you hope personally, Drummond, that the uh, ELO will be used for? Yeah, so um, <laughs> I know everyone will be waiting on, wait, how do the first two pages look like? But uh, a little bit of patience. <laughs> um, it's uh, how it will be used. So I think one of the most obvious use cases would be for organizers to um, not to, 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 to group people into divisions. So if you start a new league, for example, or you, ha you have an event going on, you could decide to use the ELO list to put people into different divisions. You can obviously, yeah. you can also decide not to do it or whatever, but it's one additional option that was not there before. And <clears throat> also, and that's, uh, that, that's something we haven't uh, talked about yet, these plus minus one month and plus minus three months columns, it's something that speaks a lot or that says a lot, I think. So for example, here at uh, 7PH, you can see that um, He's very active and he gained a lot of points. So that means that he really... The system is rigged. That's what that <laughs> is. <laughs> I'm joking. Sort of. I know, I know. It's yeah. for MP8, so I have to troll him. Yeah, the, totally the, rigged. Yeah, the, yeah he, <laughs> he, he definitely doesn't deserve it. No, joke, jokes no, aside. No, not but at all. Yeah, um, um, he, he, he started a couple of months ago and um, he really improved very quickly and it's i find it as a as a data guy i find it awesome that you don't just have the feeling that he improved but you also see it here right so obviously you always need to be careful interpreting because it could also be like if, if a very good driver joins the competitive scene you will see something different uh, you will say sorry <laughs> you will see something uh, that looks very similar because you start with one th 1000 and then if you're good you you increase uh, your elo will increase very quickly right so it's either because you improved or because you are new and you are very good if you see very positive numbers like some fluctuations like minus 30 plus 20 whatever that's um that's not so much but yeah, in the in the end, over time, it will always uh, like those numbers will be lower over time. Of course, as soon as you reached um, the ELO that is representative for your skill. Now, Dewan, as someone who is uh, you know one of the co-owners of, of Royal Crown Racing um, and in need of a reserve driver uh, with Shinetsu's um, uh, retirement from the competitive right. scene. 
uh, this elo might be something that you look at to find a reserve driver. Yeah, yeah, I definitely would be looking for somebody that I think belong. Like for instance, I'm in experts this season, so I need somebody that would be capable of keeping up in this uh, division. So yeah, definitely would be part of what I would be looking at if I want to think of drivers to take a spot. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have a curious question though of like. Where does the ELO start? Like, what is the base ELO where everything goes off of? Yeah, you, you, you start with 1,000. Um, like, if on the... So before your first race, basically, you have 1,000. And as soon as you uh, a race was entered on the app, with um, with uh, one ra you, you participating in one race, so for example, Kava, um, he participated in one race so he started with 1000 and in that one race he got 6.2 um, elo points so um, you start with 1000 and don't think that 1000 is bad or something so it's <coughs> it's 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 not right so it's um, so don't don't be like oh I have uh, I, I'm below 1,000 uh, I'm bad no 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 that's that's <laughs> that's not what it says like obviously it's a skill ranking system so if people if there are drivers above 1,000 there will also you also there's also drivers below 1,000 right so mm -hmm. a, a a skill rank a uh, skill um a skill ranking is always or not, let's not call it skill ranking. Elo ranking is better because it's not 100% skill ranking. <laughs> it's not. It, it's a measure of skill. Um, but well, I think it sounds like it's it's a performance based skill ranking. Yeah. Right? So it's based on your recorded performance. Um, yes. Statistically, not necessarily reflecting. Um, you know, because it doesn't it doesn't take into account that you had a bad quality and qualified tenth. And made your way to second, but got beaten by, you know, another player um, that maybe was lower ranked than you. But it took you a lot of skill to get from tenth to second, right? So it's it's not a full picture of skill, but it sounds like when you know based on this is this is your sort of skill level on paper. So yeah. To speak. Yeah, and and obviously it also doesn't know whether you have connection is issues, right? So for example, yeah. the one I know, I the know one. you, you you, yeah. you you had yeah. a couple of connection issues uh, in the past, <clears throat> so mm -hmm. that obviously draws down the Elo ranking. Yeah. So that's that's nothing uh, that that uh, that can be sh uh, changed, and it's also not really possible to incorporate that into that because, well, <laughs> I don't know, it could be manipulated, let's put it like that, uh, although <laughs> I don't think many people would do that, but still, um, so it, it's it's just, it's taking the race results of every single race, puts them in here, and uh, it's, yeah, numbers are harsh sometimes, but, um, yeah, but I think, I think drivers might be interested in where they are at, whether they improved, and, uh, and uh, have a look at who's the current top 10 or whatever and that's <laughs> that's something also, we could look i was at. gonna say you could also uh kind of picture where your future could be potentially like yeah. uh just looking at your screen here just to use a name for an example mcvision uh let's say you're in public online lobbies and mcvision and you are racing and you can kind of see where your pace is against him and maybe you can picture yourself in the top 30 or 40 drivers eventually as well yeah definitely yep and well i think i think we can we can also now release who's 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 top 20 right and and maybe maybe talk a little bit about about them just shortly. Well, I have a guess who's number one. <laughs> well, who does not? not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Because we would be sued if we showed that driver anything but first. <laughs> yeah, That's so... He always, like, he always teases. 
he's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's so. far more humble than that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, someone was already here uh, on number one uh, with, with, with quite some margin. And as this data was used as the basis, um, well, maybe that's... Um, Maybe that's something that highly influenced <laughs> the current rating, of course. But yeah, so we, we've seen a lot of drivers uh, here already. So a lot of good drivers already here, right? And um, so it's really, it's, it's tough to get top 20. Um, and, um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's look at them. So um, top 20, top, well, let, let's look at 11 to 20. So that's uh, Philbot, that's uh, me, <laughs> Beefhammer, Box Revo, Waffle, Panshu, Lemonhead, a bit outdated, uh, White Wind Man, World Peace, and Angry Sim Racer. Also someone who's quite new. And well, I was going to who... say, let's pause on him for a second, because he is only a couple months into the game. Yes. Um, and already incredibly fast. Um, not only as these results show, but if you've ever, I just raced against him last night and I lost pretty much every race to him. <laughs> yeah. And I've been like, my hours in the game do not justify that <laughs> compared yeah. to his hours in the game. I, but I that agree. is an example <laughs> of someone coming into the game, into the competitive scene. And you look at that ELO ranking, especially, you know, the, the plus minus, you know, column type of thing. Um, and you're looking at 140 and you're thinking, holy cow, that is a player to watch. Yes. You know, that is Definitely. someone that I want on my Superstars team or in my, I want to pair up with him uh, for the Ghost League or, you know, whatever. So so this is where I think like it's the real value of the ELO system is is recruitment. <laughs> Yeah, he, he joined he joined the the division two of the German like he's he's coming from sim racing and joined the second division of the German league, and he dominated it together with uh, Sir MPH and now he's 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 getting podiums and beating minority in qualifications in the German in the first German league, and it's really really someone who who you should look out to, um, uh, out for, and of course it helps that the first thirty races. Um, the, the, the ELO is, is doubled, so he has 16 more races to go. So let's see where he is at after his first 30 races, because he's now not just in the first German division, but also in the Superstars division uh, of ICSTC. Um, so I'm not sure if he drives every race, because they have uh, Hammer Racing has uh, three uh, drivers, but um, yeah, we will definitely see more of him in the future. Similar with Pencho, by the way. So he's he's been around a bit longer, but he's also uh, improving a lot recently. I mean, I, I used to race Pencho in in the drop-in division, you know, and we were competitive then. <laughs> I remember <laughs> when I used to beat him. <laughs> I remember when I used to beat him, and now he beats me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he, this is this is where the Elo system like is sad <laughs> because <laughs> I just see myself just dropping like a stone. But I can be equally excited for all these players that are shooting up uh, the rankings and, and being happy for them and excited for their future. And I, I might eventually just be a spectator because <laughs> yeah, I think I've reached my ceiling of skill. Yeah, uh, um, well, yeah. Speaking of uh, someone who's, who's who has uh, shooting up the ranks uh, in the past is uh, maybe like me. I'm derping around here. So not much <laughs> change, for example, here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I expect to 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 go down the ranks uh, when when someone like Angry Simracer or I don't know Penchu maybe um, start to overtake me. But yeah, let's let's look at the first page, right? All right, top ten in the CSUP app world. Yeah, so it's minority surprise surprise at the very top, um, and also gaining still gaining a lot of points. Well, one thing I need to tell to say about this here though is um when you when you are in this list i booked 10 races for you so even if you have done many races in this one the first 20 races entered on the app do count more so just to give you that information it, yeah i i described it here but like just to give that background information <clears throat> but yeah he he also did like 74 races so that's also very representative and yeah, well, we all know that he earns to be at the very top. 
And pair, well, it says outdated because it only considers data until December right now. But we know that pair is back again. So I'm very excited to see him returning and him um, earning ELO points or losing. I don't know, but uh, we all know he's very fast. And yeah, Doghouse, uh, obviously. I, I, I got to object there. Doghouse is retired. <laughs> he says well, every server he's retired I feel we should retire him from this ranking it's just well, well 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 <laughs> he, he, he did I, I think this was the world cup right I think this was the world cup I'm not sure but um, but he's not he's not completely completely gone um, and he's probably like I'm retired not dead <laughs> <laughs> fair <laughs> true that true that true that yeah and I take and I think he, he also got a lot of uh, points in the in the Italian league, maybe I don't know. Uh, maybe he was uh, he was uh, there mm -hmm. in, in in races. Um, yeah, Hotshot obviously not racing that much uh, in the in the near past. Same as Starek, not not. Uh, I think he has some private stuff going on, not racing that much. Mike Murphy participated, I think, in the World Cup as well. Um, but we will definitely see more of him uh, in the future now that he's back in in the Minority Sim Sport team. And yeah, Whisper, I don't think I need to say something about him. Like we all know he's fast and this, I think this number will keep getting green, greener and greener. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's one of one of those drivers I expect to be in the top five. Yeah, he, he's another person too that he might've had the game for a while, but there's a, I don't know if he was just chilling kind of having fun on servers but i used to beat him quite often and then all of a sudden like i don't know if he just wanted to get better or if he just did and he started beating me relentlessly <laughs> yeah, yeah now his pace is just unreal you know so yeah it's, it's uh I, i'm in the same boat i used to be able to compete with him and now i can't <laughs> so, yeah i don't but i'm but it, i know that that's not me that's him like because everyone used to be able to compete with him and, and he's just shot up in skill and his pace is is incredible um in the past you know several months and yeah it's it's, it's cool that the elo ranking can reflect that as well you know because we know because we're in the community who and who's uh, improving and who's not uh, improving or you know who's super competitive who's shooting up the charts um uh, in terms of like the public lobbies and and see it because uh, you're playing with them but um, if you don't often encounter some of these players, whether it's because their time zone's different, um, this is one way of, of seeing those players uh, and their improvement and, and their, their, their yeah. stardom path that they're on. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And and yeah, and Warrell is another example. He's extremely fast. He, I think he had some unfortunate races um, in the, maybe it was the Ghost League, I don't know, um, where he had some crashes or whatever. But um, I think he will also be further up in the future. And Liker from from South Africa, yeah, South Africa, South sorry, South, <laughs> South America, um, is is also uh, gonna be further up. I think would definitely deserve it because of his great performance in the in the Ghost League and in other uh, in other races. Yeah. This feature is set to go live. Uh, very very soon uh, probably within the next day or two um, so definitely uh, all the players definitely watch out on discord uh, for Drummond's announcement and I'm just wondering like when this goes live and if, if players will check the top 10 first or if they'll check where they are on the list first Dewan what would you check first um well I think the top 10 I like it's relatively spoken for and also we're kind of getting an inside view right now so i would probably go to a few of the people that i respect on the track or just know closely i'd go check them like you for instance i would check where you are or ross you don't need to check where i am <laughs> 44th great yeah and then That's i good. would I would sadly check where I am. I know I'm not that high ranked, but uh, I, I will eventually get more higher ranked because disconnects like, I, don't I was, help. I would, well, well, I would, well, right. Disconnections don't help, and then also I would 
like when I first jumped into ICSTC, I threw myself right into the wolf pack. I started in experts with one month of learning the game. So I know that I'll be able to climb out of the hole that I'm in, but uh, yeah, I would just be kind of going through all my friends, I guess, seeing where they're at. All right. So I'm really, really curious about uh, Drummit answering this question because it, you're a total data nerd and proud to be, which you should be, because you are the, the mathematical uh, genius of, of CSEP. So if, if you hypothetically um, did not know anything about the ELO, um, you know, building it or anything like that, you're just a driver and you just learned about the ELO ranking, do you check the top 10? Do you check your own rank or what do you, what do you check first? Well, to be honest, I'm, I have a competitive mindset. I, I would check my rank first. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, totally okay. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's definitely what I, what I looked first at and also comparing it with this one, like here was PL 11 here, it's 12. So not, not much of a change, but yeah, it was definitely uh, what I checked first, but right afterwards I was like, okay. So Minari's up here. Okay, I expected that. But who's who's behind there? Ah, Whisper. Ah, nice. He he improved a lot. So like uh, that's 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 how it went. Um, but yeah, fr from a di different perspective. So from a developer's perspective, I was I was really keen to know the range of Elo values. Like what's the highest? What's the lowest? How much and how much um, points did did some people gain within a month? How much how much points do you get per per race? And um, obviously, that's that's something uh, uh, on the database. You can't see every single race here. Maybe that's something for the future. But um, it's uh, all those little details that, that help me to evaluate whether the collect the, the the calculations were correct. I threw everything away two times and uh, started over and uh, digged into more articles and uh, formulas to get this thing um, up and running and. Uh, be as representative as possible. Well, when this does go uh, go live, and you know, people that are watching this video are probably going to go to the app. It's not live yet, <laughs> people. Um, it'll be live in a, in a couple days, um, and Dremit will post that announcement in the Discord server, and I'm sure in ICSTC as well. Um, that that the Elo feature is live, and you can go check it out. But definitely put in the comments, like, what what would you check first? Would you check the top 10? Would you check your own ranking? Um, I'm kind of in the, in the same boat as to one. Like, I think I would check out the top 10 just because, um, you know, does does it give me confirmation that Nico is first? <laughs> it's just a natural, like, oh, d you know. Um, you know, and it's like, yep, sure enough, he's first. Um, and then I would probably check out my friends. You know, I, I would check out the people that uh, I have a key yeah. interest in. Um, so uh, a, f a few weeks from now, I'll probably look uh, look for Summer. Uh, I'm gonna look for her in, in the ELO ranking because, mm -hmm. you know, she's a brand new player to the competitive scene, just entering ICSTC for the first time. Um, and I wanna see her trajectory up the list. And um, until the day that she surpasses me in the list and then I'll probably stop checking it. I'm just kidding, Summer. <laughs> I really hope that day, that day comes soon. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll check, of course, to one celebrate that I'm higher in the list currently, um, until, uh, he's no longer, uh, <laughs> under, under, under my rank. And, and then I'll probably stop checking his, but no, um, the, there's just so many people that, you know, you kind of have like an emotional, an emotional investment in to their CSEP career. And I just, I just, I'm so excited to see, uh, people shoot up the rankings and, um, and I'm really hoping that some of these players that are, have kind of stepped back a little bit, um, that maybe they see their ranking drop so low that they're like, you know what, I want to be back up there, and maybe they'll they'll come back to the competitive scene. And, or the uh, label that they're outdated, no more sizzle. Yeah, yeah, no more sizzle. <laughs> So maybe next to Nomos, you could just say irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that'll get him back. Or he's now the eighth best player in North America. Maybe that will get him back. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> um, so so that that's the ELO ranking. Uh, really really cool feature. Uh, it's it's handy. It's 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 a it's a curiosity satisfier for the players. Um, it could be a tool for organizers that maybe want to skip 
uh, a multi-race qualification process or something like that, and they just want to group players based on skill, this is a great uh, tool to use. Um, but this is not the only thing that is on your to-do list, is it, Dermot? Like, you've, you've got a lot of... You have a whole dashboard of possibilities for the app, and uh, you're always reassigning those ideas, uh, uh, different priorities, and that's all shifting. But uh, but can you give us a little bit of, of a sneak peek or an inside info on on some of the things that are on that dashboard? Keeping yeah. in mind, some might not happen, right? Because priorities. Um, but uh, but what are some of the cool things that you've you've got sort of in the queue to look at? Yes, yeah, so there's a couple of things, and there's no order set right now because as you say it's fluctuating so maybe maybe there's an organizer coming at me and saying okay I need this so that might make a new feature rise up the uh, priority list very quickly and um, then uh, everything changes right <clears throat> and um, but but a couple of things that um, that are high on the list is for example me removing this dashboard I mean, you you might have you probably seen it a lot. If you log in, you you're on this on this dashboard, which is kind of like, yeah, kind of like a dead page, right? So I uh, I wanted to I want to make the race calendar the main the main page you 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 see when you when you log in, um, and maybe put some news up there. So for example, if there's a new season coming up in a certain league, organizers might get the possibility to write like uh, two or three sentences like okay there's a new season of ICSTC and then maybe there's a box up here um, that says okay this league is going into a new season press here to, 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 to apply that's one 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 thing that's that's possible so making the calendar calendar more than like the dashboard with some news and well, I kind of like that because it, it's kind of you know what's the latest and greatest of news and what's what uh events like what races are, are coming up and i think having that on one page would be a perfect um sort of dashboard home page if you will um, yeah I, I i think i think that's one of the weaknesses of the website right now that you don't see what's new right so you can go through the lists of championships and events but you you don't you don't see like you don't get a, like a notification or you don't don't have an overview of what's 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 new right w where did, did the new season start um and uh, that's something that could be in here i know discord is is good at doing communication so this app is not supposed to replace discord but a little bit of news like a bit of communication here i think that's uh, that's a valid thing to do here and well, um, i think how you have the dashboard now it was necessary when you you first launched the app because it mm. it was a brand new tool and people didn't know the purpose of it they didn't know the difference between championships i think because we now have such a mainstay of users uh using the app they, they kind of for the most part know all that stuff and and now that can be maybe a about the app page or something like i don't think you could get you should get rid of it um, because it's got some valuable information but it could be a secondary page um that's sort of about the app um, yeah but i true. think Having that, having that uh, dynamic information as the as like, you know, the race calendar and the news as your as your dashboard is definitely a, a good direction to take for sure. Thank you. So Thank what you. else? What else you got Here. in in that brain of yours for the app? Well, the whole application process. So there were some organizers that that said it's important to them um, when people apply that they uh, check that they read the rules. For example, right? Mm -hmm. So, yes. <clears throat> some some things uh, related to the application process. Let's a um, couple of minor things. Um, that's one thing, and also access. So right now, to access every page, every mm, little page here, um, you need to be logged in, right? And I want to make it possible just that to, you can... just to pause you there Dremit, uh for anyone that's not familiar with the app um login is super easy and it's via your discord right exactly. so that is that is something if, if people are thinking like oh i already belong to a discord i don't want to create a whole another thing for the app it is law you log in via discord so it's it's one less step you have to worry about it's it's not like you're 
you're sharing a lot of personal information or anything like that. Exactly. You only share your username, your avatar, and your banner from Discord. Nothing more. No email address. Nothing. I really don't save any personal information here. And um, th this is the Discord uh, login. So you can really be sure that's, nothing. That's important going in to there. some people. Like, yeah. that, you know, they don't have to create uh, something that shares their, their email address or anything like that. So, yeah, you, you won't be getting any, uh, um, you know, purchase this product <laughs> emails or any spam or anything like that by using the app. It's, it's all through the Discord. Definitely not. Yes. <clears throat> and um, yeah, w w new features like yeah, accessing pages without um, without the need to be logged in. So if there's some new drivers and like the standard question in the, on the Discord is like, what's better, controller or keyboard, right? Then mm. you can just go ahead and send that link to them, and they don't need to log in. So that's obviously good if they don't need to log in immediately, right? So <clears throat> and um, so that's one thing. And another thing is uh, race history. So if you go to a driver's profile, you might want to see um, what were the last races and where did that driver end up in which position did that driver end up in. Yeah. So that's also high on the list. Those those are the main things. <laughs> yeah. And there's um, in case anyone doesn't isn't familiar with the app, you know, the driver profile <clears throat> it's completely up to the driver. Uh, what you include um, in your in your profile. So, for example, uh, you've got your social um, social media link things in there if if you so choose. Um, yeah, Minardi's a good one because he's got you know all his his Twitter and his YouTube and all that. So, if you want to promote those those types of things, especially if you're a content creator, you can through the app. Steam friend codes, Xbox code, um, uh, gamer tag, PlayStation ID all those things so if, if you're looking for a bunch of xbox friends um the app is is one way uh, that you can you can do that with um and kind of see who the pc players are and whatnot but yeah definitely like there's been a few times where i've checked whether someone is controller or keyboard yeah because, and, I, and... because i it's a it's a common question asked right by by the new players is well what's better uh well who do the best players you know what do they use and it's like well you know minardi's keyboard and and pierre's controller <laughs> right now they're one two in the ranking so you know it doesn't it that's a, a reflection that it really doesn't matter what your input device is it's it's pretty skill based so. exactly and 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 just a reminder for everyone that has been registered on the app uh, for longer some of these things are are new right so think about like going to edit profile and updating some information of your profile putting that steam co friend code in there or whatever um, your YouTube Instagram Twitter twitch whatever um, that's definitely worth worth uh, the m taking the minute and if for some reason the times are wrong for you in the race calendar watch out that you s chose the right uh, time zone I had that a couple of times uh, with some drivers so just a quick reminder <laughs> So if you are registering uh, for the first time or looking to edit your profile, take your time doing it. <laughs> Don't rush it because uh, you definitely want to make sure things like time zone are, are accurate. Yeah, exactly. And we see Alberto Mastretta right there. He's one of our developers. Our yeah. Developer and team. So you, you can check out even the developers that, that participate in some of our competitive events. <laughs> yeah. And, and he joined the, the, the season two of the International Team Ghost Lake together with Bottle of Scotch. It's also exciting. Go. It's also it is very exciting. exciting. Starting, sure. so, starting now. So I don't know. I think uh, I think Alberto is probably going to do better than than Scotch. Just gonna call it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I he's pity Alberto tough. because uh, boy, if he runs the wrong livery. <laughs> oh <hear> man. <laughs> he might be driving um, alone very soon. I I have seen the dashboard. There are lots. There are tons of ideas there, yeah. but, um, you know, a lot like drumming, you do this on your free time. This, you're not paid for this. This was completely, uh, you and, and if you want to mention to those that, that helped you build the app and that helped you enhance it, um, you know, we heard earlier that star Wreck, uh, contributed to, was it the fuel or yeah. race settings or something like that. But, um, 
I know Wendy was was part of that team and a few others. You want to take a moment to uh, to give a shout out to to all your helper elves. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a team effort. Yeah, thanks a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, some of you also know the the, the website, the uh, the previous website, sees up stats where McVisen helped a lot, and um, so entering data and and I talked a lot about him. He's also a data data guy, and yeah, developers, one the the zone, Toby, um, Starrek, uh, Kenguru, um, er, many many helped here and there, and. Um, of course, the whole community for giving input, reporting bugs, um, proposing features. Like you, for example, as an organizer of the uh, ICSTC, gave a lot of valuable feedback. And uh, yeah, I, there's this this so more to think. Like I can't I can't mention all of them, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I it, can take yeah. credit for having multiple point systems because of my mistake. <laughs> 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 so last season in ICSDZ, I made an error um, in uh, making the sprints ghosted, which we just ran with it and ended up being a thing. Um, and uh, <laughs> that led to everyone enjoying the ghosted sprints so much that we kept the sprints, but then everyone wanted half points uh, compared to the feature races. And so uh, in a long sort of uh, crooked path, uh, I can take credit for the, the different point system. <laughs> that drum it, uh, that is a new feature as well. We didn't, yeah. we, we didn't even mention that, but that is huge because um, any league or event that wants to run different types of races um, with different types of uh, different point systems can now do that because you can enter a custom point system to your season. That is correct. Is super cool. Yeah, so there's our uh, sprint and feature. Um, so yeah, you you um, how you do it is uh, through your your managed championships portal, and you're setting every your season up and everything, and you dictate you could basically create a point system and you name it whatever you want. So it could be Dremit's magical math point system um, is so many points, and then uh, Dremit's magical half point system, and then you dictate what points those are. Uh, yeah, and it was super easy, super quick to do. Um, but uh, what a what a great enhancement for for leagues and events that that run different types of races, which is really really cool. So you're not you're not stuck to just one type of point system. True, and maybe as to finish it up, um, I'm of course uh, as this is a hobby project, I'm very happy if you want to take part in the project, if you are a developer and want to do some coding you are very welcome to join um, and, and participate in this project and but also if you just have suggestions or bugs bug reports just post them in the discord server it really helps me because sometimes i miss them and um, <clears throat> if you have any questions just use the support channels on the on the caesar app discord or send me a dm um, and uh, that that all very much helps so yeah, and i know just... you won't say it but i definitely will if you can't contribute via your talent uh your coding talent or <laughs> or your time that way but you do have a few dollars to spare um if you go to the support us page uh uh drum it, you set up a patreon page uh, that people can provide some financial support um because there, there is a cost of running to hosting this thing right it's it's i mean it's not huge but um, but it's coming out of your personal pocket. So in addition to your time, you're also uh, uh, shelling out uh, some expense. Um, so if, if people, uh, they want to help out in some way, but they're not coders, they're not programmers, or they can't help out in, in the, um, the top list there, but they do have uh, some, some spare cash, they can support the app that way. Yeah, only if you have money to spare. And big shout out to Minardi, who is a patron supporter from the very beginning. <laughs> he is, he is such a great supporter of the competitive <laughs> community for sure. That's awesome. Um, so I will say too um, that the one thing the app doesn't replace is the Discord community. So for any player that's coming across this video and loves the app, thinks it's great, just so you know, the app only works in conjunction with the Discord community. You know, we are, you, you kind of have to 
uh, to, to get the best experience in Circuit Superstars possible, definitely join the, the Discord community. We will put a link um, in the description to the main CSUP Discord. Uh, and that's where you meet everybody. You meet people like Dremit. <laughs> and you find out about things like the app. And that's where a lot of um, communication happens. The friendships grow. Uh, the the banter after after a race happens and uh, the jokes the memes like all the things that make a social community social basically um, but it's also where you learn to get faster uh, yeah. I can I can vouch for that for sure um, and but drum it like I I know I keep saying it and I'm 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 gonna leave it to 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 one to uh, to to wrap things up but I just thank you from the bottom of my heart for the app all the work that you and your team have put in. Um, I can't tell you the hours. I could not count the hours that it saved me as an organizer, all these features. And I also truly appreciate how receptive you are to suggestions and improvements, um, working with organizers, um, because I don't know how many times I've broken the app. <laughs> <laughs> just, you didn't break Jared it. I'll get a message at like 2 a.m. Okay, I broke it again. <laughs> What that means is I didn't break the app. It's just that I didn't enter something correctly or something happens and I get the error page. But uh, to Dremit's, uh, Dremit's credit, he'd be like, you know, he's very quick to, to help you fix it. Uh, so, but I, I love that, you know, as much as the app is your baby. Um, and a lot of times when something is your baby and it's it's yours, you uh, not always receptive to, to improvements or suggestions, but you are a hundred and like a thousand percent receptive to wanting to improve it and listening to people and listening to organizers and their needs players and their needs so uh so kudos to you because i think you're the perfect person to uh to to launch this and, and maintain it um but it i i i agree that it's it's definitely uh community driven um but uh i will leave it with with dewan much appreciated <laughs> yeah i just uh we can end it by saying just thank you german for uh making this app like like crimson is saying and how we all discussed earlier many great things about this app and it just centralizes everything together so that's awesome and thank you for that but uh, uh <clears throat> just want to say thank you everybody also for watching the video make sure to keep an eye out for the next couple of days for uh when it does go live but but i don't let this uh, we can't finish this be, uh, before saying Thank you very much for having me and thank you for doing this format because that also takes a lot of time. I know you do all you all, you guys also do a lot for the community. It's not just this it's not just circuit center. We all know that like you, you whether it's coaching, whether it's organizing ICSTC, you guys are doing a lot for the community as well. So also big shout out to you and um yeah, as as I said, thanks thanks a lot for having me. So I think it's it, that's the beauty of Circuit Superstars and, and being a part of the community is you develop these friendships and you develop these relationships with people and um, it just becomes so much more than a game. Um, and the app helps us do that with the competitive scene. So definitely check out the app. If you aren't currently on the app, why not? Have you been living under a rock? Um, definitely <laughs> join the app. You just need to log into your Discord. You don't need to supply any personal information out other than your time zone. <laughs> um, and your... Uh, you know what what not even what country you're from because that's optional but just even the region of the world that you live in um, yes. that helps us determine kind of uh, um, sort of what server region you might be in uh, but yeah i look I forward think... to uh to seeing both of you jump up that leaderboard of the elo also want to mention too i think without question there will be a link in the description too to the app and all of his uh socials social medias thanks everyone yeah, thanks for having me and have a good one, everyone.